Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Earth Tones Girl podcast. My name is Denise, and this is episode, oh my gosh, 43. (laughs) Uh, You can find me on the internet as Earth Tones Girl. I am most active on Instagram. I'm also on Ravelry. The podcast has a Ravelry group, which is the Earth Tones Girl podcast group. And there's also an email address, which is earthtonesgirl at gmail.com. I am also the host of the No Fear Sock Knitting class, which you can find here on my YouTube channel. Hello! Oh my gosh, it's been three weeks, four weeks since my last episode. Wow, how is everybody doing? I I don't even know where to begin. (laughs) Things are very good around here. Um... There's been a lot of stuff. Sorry, I'm just moving a notification off my phone. Um, It's been a really interesting time uh, between adjusting to the new situation. Um, When I did the, the last video, we were only two weeks in. Now we're at about I think six weeks in and um, sorry, that's the last time I'm going to do that. Um, There's yeah, we're about six weeks in. As you can tell, I'm a little bit rusty, but that's okay. Um, Yeah, there's been a lot going on, you guys, as we all know. Um, And But I'm happy to say I feel like we've finally kind of hit our stride with homeschooling, with um, my husband coming home from work, with just our day-to-day. We found a rhythm, and it's been really, really good for our family. Um, And... I know things are really hard out there. I've been, we, we're all watching the news and watching what's going on and it's still a very scary time, but within our four walls, um, and I'm so grateful for this space for our home, um, it's been, we've all been doing really well. I mean, the kids have good days. We all have good days, bad days, but I think for the most part, we're doing really well. Um, The kids miss school. I miss them being in school. And my mom was really worried. I don't know if I said this the last time. My mom was really worried about me adjusting to having them with me all the time because I'm I'm one of those introverts that needs downtime to recoup and and sort of revive myself and uh, re-energize myself. And I haven't had that, but I've adapted really quickly and... I'm doing well, you guys, I really am, which is, which is a good thing. Uh, yeah, so it is, today is May 4th, um, for all of you Star Wars fans out there, may the 4th be with you, (laughs) happy Star Wars day, uh, this is a very, I think for some of us this day is even, um, more fun than Christmas, because we all just get to be silly and, you know, wave our geek flags and have a good time, so, um, It's, it's, we've had a really good day. Uh, It's also Monday, so it's the beginning of a new week and a new month. Welcome May. Uh, Lots and lots of things going on. So what, aside from the little catch up and what's been happening, um, what has been happening since our last episode, the Scrappy Shorties Cal is underway. We're a month in. And to all of you participating in that, thank you so very much. I It's been so much fun. It's been really low key and easy. Um, people are having a lot of fun with their scrappy socks. It's been great. And the two tutorials that I put up regarding color changing have been real. People have been really excited about that. And um, thank you so much for watching. For those of you that watched, uh, that's been really great. I do still owe every, not owe, but I still am going to put out uh, part three, which is um, color changing on the heel with a short row heel. So that will be coming out, fingers crossed, this week after this video. Uh, But I really wanted to just get a podcast slash vlog episode in. And There's been so many changes. I I don't want to just talk and talk and talk and bore you with all of them in one sitting. We'll we'll talk about them as we go. But um, there's also been a lot of talk amongst my friends and I about podcasting and versus vlogging and how we meet with you all, um, whether it's weekly or biweekly or monthly. And um, yeah, I've been doing this. I've been podcasting for almost three years now, and I, I'm I'm slowly working on a way to change the format of this a little bit, just to freshen things up a little and um, make it more 
doable, make podcasting and recording more doable for me, considering our new lifestyle and having the kids with me all the time. So, um, yeah, I think there's some good things on the horizon. So, yes, yeah, Scrappy Shorties, Cal. Uh, like I said, we're a month in. I announced prize winners um, yesterday. I was supposed to have done it on the first, but I did it yesterday, um, which was fine. And Heather, if you're watching, congratulations again. I'm so excited for you. And we'll get your prize in the mail um, ASAP. I will post a picture of her prize right here for you. Um, another really fun thing that's been happening. Oh, so let me finish about the Cal. The Cal um, has one. We're one more month. There's one more month to go. It ends uh, at the end of this month. So May 31st is the last day. And um, yeah, so just keep working on those scrappy shorties, you guys. Post. You can chatter in the chatter thread on Ravelry. Post your finished socks in the FO thread, also in the Ravelry group. And yeah. Um, yeah, we'll get some more prizes awarded later. Um, sorry, I'm umming a lot. I'm definitely out of practice. So anyway, there's also been a lot of knitting, which I want to show you. I'll get to that in one second. And uh, then I just want to throw in a little footage of what we've been doing around the house. Um, I have a really cute clip of uh, Chris and I talking about the garden. We've put in plants. I'm, I'm gesturing to the window. We've put in um, plants in our garden, and uh, we're really excited to watch that grow. And, and it's funny. We've been doing, we've been planting in the garden for years and years now. We've been in the house 11 years. But I think this year is going to be different because it's it's another thing to add to our day and and I can now include it in homeschooling for the kids so um yeah I think the garden we, we, we're going to have a whole new appreciation for our garden this year and I'm really looking forward to that um life has slowed down for us dramatically and I will share some more of that oh, of course the phone's ringing be right back guys sorry about that guys <laughs> um yes life has slowed down so much for us and in so many good ways um lots of knitting going on a lot of time out in the yard um chris is doing a lot better now um i think he's more physically tired but that my my husband chris i think he's more physically tired but mentally he's in a much better place um and when you see that clip you'll you'll see what i mean <laughs> That was a fun day. Um, so yeah, so you know what? Let's talk about uh, some knitting projects that uh, I've gotten done. I've gotten one, two, three pairs of socks done. Wow, not as much as I would like, but um, that's okay. I've got three and a half because I have a half FO here. So um, let me put these on some sock blockers. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? How's your making? How are your lives? Thank you so much for all of your messages in the last episode. That was, they were wonderful um, compliments and filling me in on your lives. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for the compliments on my hair. <laughs> that was really fun. Um, it's definitely growing. Oh my gosh. Uh, and I've been playing around with new hairstyles since we've been in this um, shelter in place because you know what? Nobody's looking at me most of the time. So I can experiment and have fun. So anyway, finished object. My socks are done. Ooh, my poolside socks are done. I had one sock done um, at the, for the last episode. So now they are both finished. Love them. Super simple, stripey socks uncomplicated <laughs> just a really good comforting pair of stripey socks the this colorway is poolside uh by scrumptious pearl and i put in this is was the contrasting mini that came with it i had originally put it in i wanted to do the cuff the heel and the toe but for some reason i don't know it just seemed a little bit bright for me so i just decided to um keep it and use it for just the uh the heel and the toes, but here they are, done. Love them, can't wear them right now because it's starting to get a little bit warm outside, but this was a really, really fun knit for me. I really enjoyed these. So, and I think this may be a colorway that um, Samantha, I think is her name, that Scrumptious Pearl keeps in stock or restocks frequently if you wanna go over and um, have a look uh, at her shop. I'll put a link to that down below for you. So that is one pair. 
And I also, I mean, I can't possibly host a shorty cal and not knit a pair of shorties. So here they are. So excited. And oh my gosh, these are so much fun. So yes, the point of the cal was the scrappy shorties cal was to use some of your scrappy, uh, some of your leftover scraps and ends and bits and bobs of yarn. And um, there are also a lot of really beautiful um, mini sets that are out right now. So um, these are <laughs> these are my scrappy shorties. <sighs> Let's just look at these for a minute, you guys. Aren't they beautiful? I love them so much. Super comfy. This is my No Fear Shorties, uh, No Fear Shorties sock pattern uh, that I then just used scrappy, used some minis for. And this mini set is called the Earth Tones Shorties a mini set named after me. I'm so touched and excited. <laughs> I really am. And they're so me. They're so me. Look at these. These colors could not be more perfect. And these are by Legacy Fiber Arts. Oh my gosh. Love them. Love them. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Chelsea. If you're watching, thank you so much. I love these so much. And people have been buying them. They are, the yarn is on their Steel Toes base. Um, which is a 75-25, so 75% superwash and 25% nylon. Um, yeah, so here they are. And yes, I made them a little different. Uh, you know what happened? And I'll tell you the secret as to why these stripes aren't exact. A, I wanted them to look scrappy. And B, I was knitting them at night. Um, I was sitting in my bed and it was a little dark and I reached into the bag to grab a ball and thought I had grabbed the next color in the sequence but grabbed the wrong color in the sequence but you know what they're scrappy and it didn't matter and i love them for all of you new sock knitters out there hello my sweet boy i'm almost done um for all of you new sock knitters out there shorties are the way to go and if you want to experiment with color um here you go small canvas totally doable and the two videos that I have up teach you how to change the color so that you don't get the jog in between the colors and also how to change color for the contrasting heel so go and have a look it's part one and part two so you can go and have a look at that uh, here on my channel and I also want to show you another scrappy shorty this particular one I changed things up even more so I'll show you that. Here it is. This is the other Legacy Fiber Arts put out two um, scrappy, two, oh, why am I blanking? Mini, uh, mini sets. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> two mini sets uh, recently. And this one again was Earth Tones Shorties. And this one is April Showers. Oh, just love them. So with this sock, I just knit um, 10 stripes of, on the cuff it was five and five, and then within the body of the sock, uh, it's 10 rounds of each color. And then with this one, which fades a little bit more, the colors are a little bit more subtle. It's so springy, so beautiful. And I, it didn't come, it came with these main colors. So it's kind of this yellow, green, a gray, blue, purple, and pink. It was so one, two, three, four, five, six colors in the set. Am I counting right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six colors. And then I had this gray, also by Legacy Fiber Arts. This is called uh, Gray Gardens. I had this in my stash. And it's always raining in April, April showers. So I thought, and the colors are starting to come out, but they're still kind of subdued. So I just, I thought this is so perfect. It really captures the spring season really well. So I love these so much <laughs> so uh and then with this two things the stripes are a little smaller i did five rounds of the stripes and in the tutorial with changing color i also talk about how to count your stripes because you count them a little bit differently uh when you're knitting um you count your rounds a little bit differently when you're knitting color and you want a certain number of rounds of a particular color and i also changed out the heel so this is my shorty sock pattern but i changed out the heel so instead of the wait hold on 
okay, why is that on there? Sorry guys. Instead of the heel flap and gusset, I swapped it out for the fish lips kiss heel, which is what I put in here. Uh, I will link to the fish lips kiss heel pattern down below. And the third tutorial in the series is going to be how to change color um, to put in the a short row heel. I will not be teaching how to do the fish lips kiss heel, but I will show you how to change color when you are knitting a short row heel. So this can apply to any short row heel, whether it's um, German short rows, Japanese short rows, um, whatever short row heel you are using, I will then show you how to change the color so that it's pretty seamless the way it looks here. So again, this is five rounds of each color and this other one here was 10 rounds of each color. So yeah, this I've only gotten one done. The other one is sitting on my um, table over there waiting for me to record the tutorial. So that is what's going on there. And then I just have one other pair to show you these. So as I said before, some days have been really, really good. And I've, there's been a lot of personal discovery and discovery as a family. And some days are really hard. Some days just suck. I'm going to say it. I'm just going to say it. It absolutely sucks. And they're hard and they're tearful days. Uh, we just celebrated my mom's birthday on May 1st. And I'm not going to lie, guys, it was a little bit of torture. I couldn't hug her. I couldn't I couldn't hug her and it was, it was awful. I'm not going to lie. It was really, really awful. And that's what's been difficult. Um, I don't know what's easier, being near your family and seeing them at the six to 10 feet, but we can't touch or knowing that they're hundreds of miles away and I can't touch them or I can't even see them other than via FaceTime, Zoom, etc. So I don't, I honestly don't know what's worse. I think it's bad either way. Um, I think having her and having my sister and my side of the family, my husband's side of the family, they're only two blocks away. Having everybody so close is really hard because you, like I said, you can see them, but only so close. And trying to have a conversation from a distance is yelling and raising your voice and just it's it's challenging it's really it's really it's challenging but that said um I was enjoying my scrappy socks but I just wanted something really mindless I I needed to just knit um and knit quickly and and feel the comfort in the rhythm of round after round without having to stop so I cast on some mustache socks which is one of my favorite self-striping yarns um and i knit these i knit these pretty quickly um the name of this colorway is family reunion i'm gonna pull back so you can see them it's family reunion and um i think the name says it all i put in the gray gardens the same colorway that um i used for the april showers scrappy socks i put in for the heel Here's the other heel. I put in for the heel for these. And uh, as you can see, I was a tiny wee bit off on the toes, but you know what? That's okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So I knit these. I, I, there's sort of people knit prayer shawls and, and I had an episode of the podcast, gosh, many moons ago now, more than a year, maybe a year and a half ago called Sock Diaries. And that's what these are. These these socks and and I think all the socks I'm knitting right now, everything I'm knitting and making right now is um their diaries. It's their diary entries to this time that we're in right now and how there's prayers going into my stitches, there are tears going into my stitches, um hopes, fears, wishes, everything. Everything is going into these right now. Um yeah. And it's one of the reasons why I, I find it difficult to part with socks that I just knit like this, unless I specifically knit them like I did in the last episode, I knit a pair for my cousin. So unless I'm specifically knitting a pair with a person in mind, for the most part, it's just my thoughts that are going into stresses, whatever 
happy feelings, bad feelings. <laughs> it's it's whatever that goes into the stitches. And that's exactly what these socks represent. Um, missing my family. And the colors are sort of a little bit more subdued, a little more muted. They're not too bright. I just love this colorway. So Stacy, if you're watching, Stacy is, uh, Stacy is the dire, the genius, dire genius behind mustache yarn. Um, if you're watching, thank you for this colorway. Thank you so much. So yeah. And, uh, on a lighter note, I do have some fun news to share with you. Not today, but I'll share that later um, about mustache yarn. So stay tuned for that. That will be coming. That announcement will be coming soon. Um, so yeah, guys, there's also been some sewing. Uh, I've been sewing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go and grab the little basket that uh, I made as part of the Cal prize. So let me go and grab that for you and um, I'll show you right now. So yeah, aside from uh, knitting and gardening, I've also, like I started to say, I've also been sewing a lot and it's been so cathartic. Is that the word I want? I used to sew a lot. I mean, I lived at this machine and um, I had taken a little bit of a break from knitting and I find that's another thing that's happened since the shelter in place. Um, I'm finding a balance with my making and that's been amazing for me as a maker, as a, as a sewer knitter. Um, it's been great because I, I always felt like I had to do one or the other, that, that the time in the day just wasn't there to do it all. And, uh, there was always a rush. I always felt rushed. And one of the side effects of this situation is slowing down, is is valuing the time and not feeling the need to rush and looking at how I lived in the past and in the past as if it was that long ago, but it does feel that long ago, um, at what I was always rushing around doing. What was I always doing? What were all these errands I constantly had to run and, you know, hustling from one thing to the other? What on earth was I really doing with my time? And could I have used that time differently? And now that that time's been given sort of back to me in a sense, I'm finding a balance and it's, it's just, it's been great. So this is what I made. <laughs> I made a little basket, you guys. Look at that. Um, this is a Cal prize and it's just some knitted fabric that I had in my stash and it's got, I'm going to turn it slow this, this way. I'll turn it this way slowly so you can see there's a little fuzz on it there. Um, yeah, but just stitching something this simple, it, it, there's nothing complicated. If you, if you can sew, it's just a really simple fabric basket. I found the pattern on Pinterest. Thank goodness for Pinterest. Oh, thank goodness for Pinterest <laughs> on a lot of levels. Um, and yeah, I just, I, like I said, I pulled this out of the stash and the bottom, it's a boxed bottom. So you're just, you're lining up your seams here and you're boxing the bottom of the of the basket and I used an interfacing a Pelon I think this was Pelon 931d I don't remember um I'll put it in the show notes for you but um yeah I used interfacing on the exterior fabric on the outer fabric and there we go just sewed it and the design the construction was a little bit different just a wee bit different than what I usually do usually uh, when you're sewing there's an opening in the lining where you turn the bag right side out and this time it was right at the edge of the hem um, which well not the hem but like at the top edge where you sew the pieces together and that was really interesting um not interesting enough to make it difficult, just interesting to, oh, that's kind of cool. And it actually makes it really neat. So that was really fun working on that. And um, so I've got this one. This is going to be mailed out, folded very carefully and mailed out. And I started another one in this beautiful sort of recipe fabric that I had in my stash. And I decided, I hope it can, it shows up. Where is it on the screen? It's sort of white on white, but I hope you can see right in here, I um, decided to do a little hand stitching right through there. 
And I used to hand stitch a lot. Um, but again, it's something I just didn't make the time for. And I'm making the time for it right now. And it's so, oh my gosh, I love it so much. I love it so much. It's soothing. It's rhythmic. It's that in and out motion of the needle in your hand. It's the warmth of the of the fabric in your hands. Um, I used a fusible fleece on the back of this one, which is a little firmer than the interfacing on this. This is much firmer. And I did that because I wanted to do the hand stitching. Um, so I wanted something a little hardier to uh, hold the stitches. And um, that's my little needle minder that I've got there. I'll bring that in a little closer so you can see. There it is. Yes, it's Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> um, I found um, Wonderland Stitcher is who I found on Instagram who was selling these and I bought a ton of them. She had old TV shows. I love Lucy, Star Wars, Star Trek, which I have in my little stash. Um, and there was Little House on the Prairie, guys, which I've been watching like crazy because it's... um. It's on a channel here in New York, so that's sort of my background noise. Just, you know, something simple, uncomplicated, no violence, no swearing, no nothing. Just simple, wholesome TV. <laughs> so, yeah, so I pulled out my little um, little House on the Prairie needle minder, and I'm just going to stitch and outline the patterns, and then I'm going to sew this together. So you've got two pieces that look like this, and then you the way you fold them, uh, the way you stitch is where is this piece creates half of the bottom. So then you get that boxed bottom effect. So yeah, that's um, that's a little bit of my stitching that I've been doing. Uh, and there's plans for lots, lots more. As you can see, the cover is not even on um, on my girl right now. All of my machinery, my electronics, I refer to as female. It's a little bit of the geek side of me, but all of my sewing machines, as you can see them up there. Um, yeah, they're all they're all girls. And I've added some sock blockers over here. I took down the little mini quilt that was over there. Uh, I'd like to actually make a new one and put up my sock blockers. This new one here is a Harry Potter themed sock blocker. And then this is my blooming sock blocker over there. So um, yeah, and Harry's riding a broom. I don't know if you can, you know what? Let's see if I can take it down and show you. Oh, there's Hogwarts down in the bottom. And this is two. This is a pair. They're just, I just have them um, together. But there's Harry Hogwarts, Harry riding his broom. Um, and there's the snitch. And actually, when I order these, I'm trying to remember because I know I'm going to get questions where I order these from. I will look that up and put it in the show notes for you down below. But I was so excited about the design that I wasn't paying attention to the size and I ordered a medium. I need small sock blockers. Uh, not that I even really use them, but to display socks on, I need a small and these, my socks won't even fit on these. The foot is too long, but I really didn't care. I loved these so much. I really just, these are for decoration purposes only. So yeah, that is why those are there. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically, in a quick little nutshell, what I've been working on. Um, man plans and God laughs. I love that expression. So I am, my plan is to try to create shorter videos and come on a little bit more often. I know I've said this before, but again, I'm, I'm going to try really hard because um, I'd like to be here with you all a little bit more. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I don't want the videos to be too long because you don't want to hear me prattle on for long and I don't have the time to prattle on for long. So we will see how it goes. But that is basically it for now. I will put in some footage of my family and I um, and how we're doing. And I will check back in with you all later. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope that you are all well. Let me know how you're doing in the comments down below. Um, the part three of the color changing video will be out really soon. And um, I'm just happy to be here with you all for a little while. Thank you for sharing your time with me. And um, I'll see you all again really soon.
Bye, everybody. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.